Hello everyone, this is Evie the Original Master here, and this is going to be a video um, that I have decided to make real quick to tell you guys my honest opinions and thoughts about uh, Super Mario Sunshine on uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, uh, earlier today, I was actually uh, thinking about some of Nintendo Switch games that I own that I consider beating. And um, I was actually thinking about not trying to clear Super Mario Sunshine is because that I've been playing, I, I've when, I, when I've recently played the game, um, I did enjoy some of the levels in the game. I did find the controls to be okay, but I really haven't physically beaten the game yet is because that I was actually thinking about it. And at the end of the day, I think this is a Mario game that I just do not feel comfortable beating only because that it's just some of the decisions that were made and some of the the difficulty of the game that just doesn't seem all that exciting for me. My biggest gripe with Super Mario Sunshine is some of the decisions that were made during the development of this game. And some of those decisions is the way how you clear levels to unlock the final world of the game. And if you guys don't know, in Super Mario Sunshine, you have to clear all of the missions in chronological order in order to unlock the final world of the game, which is Corona Mountain, which requires you to catch Shadow Mario in all of the, of all of the six main missions in Super Mario Sunshine. And in order to get to those Shadow Mario missions, you have to clear each objective in a number order. You can't pick any level or any, oh, I'm sorry. You can't pick any mission you want in those levels. It's because that that's not how the game is structured. And that's kind of an issue is because that, what if somebody wants to actually beat the game um, ahead of time, but they can't is because that they can't pick whatever mission that they want or a number certain amount of shine sprites that you need uh, to clear a level in the game. Another issue that I have with Samori Sunshine is the difficulty. Now, um, Samori Sunshine, in my opinion, um, I, there were some missions that I just really didn't enjoy all that much. And some of those missions include, uh, the floodless levels. I've only cleared two of them. Well, I didn't clear two of them. I've only, only, I've only cleared one of them, which was, um, the first floodless mission which was um, the first one where you're on the, the platforms. It was like a starship platform and you have to jump on that platform to get the shine sprite. That was the first secret mission in the game. Now the second one um, in Bianco Hills, which is titled uh, The Secret of the Dirty Lake, that one I'm having a huge issue with is because that I just don't like the difficulty in the game. I just don't like the way how the levels are structured and it just doesn't, seem like it's worth it in my opinion. I don't want to play a Mario game that I don't feel comfortable playing is because that I might lose interest of it and I just don't feel like playing it. And yeah, I'm hearing lots of criticisms about some of the dumb decisions that were made in this game. And that's understandable if you guys like Super Mario Sunshine. But if I want to be totally honest, this isn't a Mario game that I feel comfortable playing. I just do not like this game at all. And um, I just don't feel like beating it. So that's the reason why I have decided that I just do not want to beat Super Mario Sunshine only because of some of the difficulty of the game. Um, I really don't feel like doing the watermelon festival level later in the game is because that that's another level that I might, that I'm going to have to beat just so I can unlock the final mission of the game. And I know I, I haven't tried it yet, but I don't want to feel in a position where I don't feel comfortable playing the game. So yeah, Super Mario Sunshine is probably going to be the only Mario platform that I've played through that I just don't feel like comfortable beating. And yeah, so it so that's going to be a game that I will not physically beat. I might go back and try to beat Super Mario 64. I might go back and play Super Mario Galaxy on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I might go back and play through that game. Because it's been a while since I played Super Mario Galaxy, the first Super Mario Galaxy on my Wii, and um, it will be nice to play the game again on the Switch. So I might, at some point, go back and play Super Mario Galaxy 
after I beat Mario 64. And um, when I do try to beat um, Mario 64, I think I might not go for all of the 100 coin stars because that I was actually thinking about it because I've already gotten all 100 coins in the first 11 courses, which is Big Bob-Bombs or bob -Bom Big bob -Bom Battlefield and uh, Wet Dry World. I got all 100 coins in those levels and I was going to do 100 coins for Tall Tall Mountain, but I've decided that um, I think I should just ignore the 100 coin stars and just try to beat the game as it is instead of trying to go for 100%. It's because that I know that some people aren't good at these Mario games and myself. I am good at some Mario games. I'm good at some of the levels, but there, if there's but if there is a mission that I am not really good at, of course I'll skip it. And yeah. So that's the video that I wanted to make. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I do not feel comfortable beating Super Mario Sunshine. And yeah, so this is probably going to be the only Mario game that I will probably not beat. Is because that I just don't feel comfortable about it. Only because of the many things I've heard about the game. And after playing it for a while, it just doesn't really seem all that fun. I mean, it, it does have unique gimmicks and unique um, ideas, but the decisions that were made for this game is just beyond baffling. Like, the fact that um, there isn't, like, a chart to show you how many blue coins you have you have collected or anything like that. And, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a, of course not going to do the blue coin missions because I've only collected a few of the blue coins, but I'm not going to go for all of them. But, yeah, I, I just don't like the decisions that were made in Super Mario Sunshine. So, I'm afraid that I'm not going to beat this game. I'm just going to probably go back to Super Mario 3D All-Stars at some point and beat Super Mario 64 as it is. And yeah, so I'm going to try to go back and beat that at some point if I have a chance. After I beat that, then I'll probably go do Super Mario Galaxy, try to beat that game. And yeah, so that's what I have in mind. So that's the video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, what are your thoughts about Super Mario Sunshine? I'd like to hear your opinions of the game if you've had played through it. And, yeah, so if you have played through Super Mario Sunshine, what are some of your experiences with it? And was this a Mario game that you felt comfortable beating? But for me, I don't think I'm not going to touch this game again. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I really, I, I've, I've enjoyed Super Mario Sunshine for what it was, but I don't see myself going back to playing it, even though I haven't really beaten it yet. And I really don't feel like trying to beat the game because if I try to beat it, that means I'm going to have to go to Bianco Hills, try to beat all the levels in that, do the Shadow Mario mission, then go to the next world, beat all the levels of that. And I don't want to go to a point where the game gets way too hard for my liking that I just quit. And yeah, so I, I was able to beat Luigi's Mansion 3 despite that game being a little challenging, but at least that game was fun. That game was fun. Luigi's Mansion 3 is fun. While Mario Sunshine, on the other hand, it is fun, but I just didn't feel comfortable with it. All right, I'm done rambling here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.